Hello guys, welcome to this small tutorial about the timeout waiting for browser in the box with VM, uh, the virtual machine browser in the box. This is some pretty uh, common browser, it's uh, like uh, out of the box. Uh, thing it's free everybody can use that you can download the whole thing this browser and in its uh, in, in, in a virtual box you can start this browser and uh, there's almost 99.999% uh, guarantee that nothing will happen whatever you uh, or wherever you get there are no viruses which can um, uh, infect your computer because it's in a virtual box and it, it has been really good and it's it, it was common a lot of people have been using that for years and more and more people have been complaining about this timeout uh, they brought up a new version some time ago which was able to update which was able to to solve this problem um yeah i think most of the problems are related to the standalone edition so yeah uh yeah i mean um yeah i have checked the versions and there was no new version since 2015 so that makes doesn't make any sense to uh, uh, to download new version of this standalone edition probably because probably it will also come with this error i don't know why they don't fix this so many people are complaining it you can start it and then this um yeah this development thread you see development it goes to about to the middle and it, then it brings up the error timeout waiting for browser in the box so what you can do i have been going to their uh, website the company which provides this browser in the box and i have found they have a couple of different versions they have standalone version they have uh, Firefox version and they have a uh, Chrome version so I went to the download uh, site so you can see that I will post it afterwards in the text below the uh, video um, so you can download it so here it is that's from this road and Schwartz cyber security you can go to here you have this here you have this link it says browser in box 4.53 with chrome for windows 7 8 10 it's 4.53 if you see the latest version i think for the other one was 4.3 or something like that so yeah it's even more than once anyway so it's quite big it's 500 um gigabytes uh megabytes sorry <laughs> um yeah it's um quite big but a uh, large um but no problem and it asks you a couple of questions you need to install additional software but it's really straightforward you have nothing to uh, nothing to worry about there's a standard express installation or a manual installation basically the, the manual installation uh you have there you have the possibility to enter a manual pass like if you want to install on a d drive if you have ssd on the c drive and you want to save space something like that okay um yeah i've been installing that took uh, took a while to download and install and after that i started the thing and now surprise surprise i make it a little bit smaller and it started really without any problem and i notice that it's much much faster than anything i had before with the standalone version like if you open new tab it immediately opens the tab if you want to google go uh google you google for google i don't know what's coming i've never done this before but you see it's really fast it's extremely fast it's it's much much faster than the standalone version was so i hope 
it will be stable for a while but at least at the moment I really like it I was able to get rid of this error I hope it helps you too if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time